Hey guys, this is Mike from Beat Tech Reviews here, and today we're going to take a look at the Nexus 5X in 2019. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I purchased a Nexus 5X or the LG Nexus 5X about a week ago and I decided to check this phone out because one, I hadn't checked out the last generation of Nexus products and two, I've always loved Nexus product uh, or Google related uh, cell phone devices basically so when I say that I mean like I've owned the Google Nexus 4, Nexus 5 and even the Nexus 6 but I never owned the 5X and the 6P okay so those were the last gen Nexus devices now you have the Google Pixel 1, 2, and 3 which have been out for a couple of years already and it, you know it just really tells the story for me as to one how does this uh, phone perform in 2019 and how does it hold up and that that is the big question here that I wanted to check out for you guys today so let's get down to the nitty gritty really quick guys and uh, I'm going to start off with physical features of the phone before I go over specs here for you guys. So overall the phone is built quality is not great I'll be honest with you okay. Uh, all around it's just basically a matte plastic finish. Uh, in the back you just have obviously the Nexus branded uh, product here. I bought this phone used so the phone does have scrapes and scratches. I don't know if the camera's catching any of that but you can see that there's a little bit of wear on the back. Uh, back plate here. This phone actually does come in three or four different colors. Excuse me. I know it comes in a white. It comes like in a in a teal color, and it comes in black. So uh, definitely for its time, I guess you know its generation was a little bit different. Uh, this phone uh, retailed at four ninety nine, I believe. And anyone that's watching this, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But for the most part. Uh, all, all the way around it's build quality it's it's pretty like it feels like it's made out of cheap material considering the price point of this on honestly now it does have a 5.2 inch touch screen uh, which you know it's an IPS display it's nothing like you would see today uh, in today's market basically when it comes to uh, smartphone screens not, not definitely not the size of the screen that you would see either I think for me the sweet spot is between five and five five and a half inches uh, most phones nowadays are like 5.7 inches and up so for me this is actually a good pocketable size and you can actually wrap your hand around the entire thing so going forward from there guys as you can see here the back does have a fingerprint sensor uh, it's pretty it's pretty relatively quick you can't complain I guess the job done like let me let me just show you guys real quick that, that that's how fast it works so so for the most part let me turn it on it still gets the job done for what it is okay so so uh, even though this phone was released in 2015 it's still relatively fast right here on the back of course as you can see here you still have that uh, only a single camera so it's so crazy to see phones that had only single uh, lenses now you have uh, phones that have dual lenses basically or even tri lenses on the back you know so that you can get those different uh, type of frame of shots so it's really relatively refreshing for me to see a phone that just has a single lens and the fact that it's in the middle it's so weird seeing phone uh, camera lenses that are placed directly in the middle nowadays you'll see them either mounted over here on the top left where you see the little laser and the and the LED flashes are over here on the top right so so definitely a little refle refreshing for me for me to see if you lay it down flat you're not gonna get like a, a lot of wob wobbliness I mean basically I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna really move much I mean I, I can't I can't complain too hard so so again you know this phone does have a uh, micro USB type C port on the bottom so you guys uh it does support rapid uh, fast charging as well if you have that type of charging brick and of course you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so so for those of you who, uh, who are wanting a device uh, that still has a headphone jack and and don't want to spend a lot you know you can get yourself a nice used uh, Nexus 5 or even a 6P now these devices are still going between 50 and 100 dollars I actually paid about 55 dollars for this device on eBay now again price varies this was this one was used it was not a refurbished version 
So, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt that, you know, it's going to vary depending on who the, who, who the seller is and whatnot. But for the price point, it's not bad. So let's get to the nitty gritty of the specs here, guys. And let me re reframe my camera here for you guys, at least so it doesn't look bad. So I'm just going to go over the specs really quick and then I'll, I'll go over how the phone performs for you guys. So, so okay, this, this phone, obviously I already explained to you that it does have uh, a rear facing camera. It's got a 12.7 megapixel rear facing camera and the front camera is actually a five, meg five megapixel camera. So not too, too bad. I do have a separate video uh, in which I do a camera test on that. So I'm gonna actually uh, put that in the cards that's right, right about there. Uh, so you guys can check that out later on if you guys wanna check, to, check out to see how the camera performs, uh, including the front facing and the rear facing camera. I do take sample footage in 4K and in 1080p. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'll just, I'm just gonna show you what the camera app looks like in general before I finish this video. So, so going forward, uh, obviously, uh, you can see here that the phone uh, does have a little bit of bezels, of course. And, you know, it's a little different from what you see on other devices nowadays. Not a full screen phone. It does have two, two front facing uh, speaker grills, so there's no speaker grill on the bottom. Uh, which uh, I'll go into a little bit later. But anyway, back to specs. So this phone does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 processor. So that's an older, older processor, but it's not slow either, okay? It has a hexacore. It, it's basically a hexacore, which is like six cores, uh, and it's running on 64-bit uh, processing. So it's fast. It's snappy. I don't know how else to explain that. This phone is still pretty fast for what it is. Okay, uh, considering it only has two gigs of RAM uh, for for the for the year that this phone came out, I I believe that two gigs of RAM was probably sufficient for for the actual. Uh, processing power at the time you know obviously this is you know 2019 it's gonna run a little differently now uh, it's gonna be a little bit more stuttery but for the most part this phone does perform uh, pretty okay so this phone originally came out with uh, Android Marshmallow which is 6.0 uh, this phone does have the updated version of Android Oreo which is Android 8.1 and I was very shocked when I actually received the phone and it already had Android 8.1 installed. Uh, phone does have a 2700 milliamp battery, so uh, that might uh, be a problem for some people because honestly, you will not get a full day's uh, battery life with this phone, okay? This phone does uh, die quickly. Now again, again, I've already made mention that this is a used phone. Uh, for the most part, I'm getting about three and a half to four hours of on-screen time when it comes to battery life, okay? And that doesn't include heavy usage, okay? That doesn't include me gaming or me, you know, uploading videos or constantly just doing things with the phone. That You know, that's, that's moderate to light use uh, with this specific phone, so... So for those of you who are looking into buying a, a used or older model phone, uh, just take that into consideration. Uh, you're going to get the performance, obviously, but but at the same time, <coughs> you know you're, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of battery life. So, so again, uh, according to its original specs, you know this thing does have a, a, a talk time of 20 hours, a standby time of 17 and a half days, which is 420 hours. Okay. And it does run on LTE band, so this is an unlocked ver this is an unlocked phone. Obviously, uh, it you know it does uh, work on other carriers like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, etc. And this was actually I think one of the first phones that had uh, the LTE A band, which again uh, I'm not too familiar with how many uh, bands of LTE there were, but I remember back then when LTE A was out, it was actually relatively uh, you know I wouldn't say popular, but it was it was kind of getting a lot of uproar because it was it was faster than regular. LTE so so take that you know again with a grain of salt and you know use that to your knowledge as best as you can guys it's not slow then I'll run a, I'll run a quick speed test as we go here okay but again no issues uh, with connectivity issues I have this running on a mint mobile sim and for the most part it, it seems to be running pretty good okay so so again having this phone that's the specs by, by the way guys so having this phone for about a week I've been you know testing it off and on uh, definitely my favorite part of this phone is just how well it performs considering the fact that it's a little older and you know it's surprisingly you know I'm still able to you know jump from app to app and it you know not give me many any major issues you know what I mean I mean it still runs like it's supposed to obviously my Wi-Fi is running a little slow uh, but for the most part you know uh, it, you know it gets the job done you guys can see here you know how snappy uh, this is let's see if I can get on Twitter 
and and performance wise it's still relatively fast okay so again no complaints as far as their performance look at that i'm, I'm helping advertise for sprint here right but for the most part it you know it gets the job done you guys can see here that you know it follows my finger pretty well uh as far as that goes it's not really crazy now let's see let's just see what's going on on twitter i know new mobile actually released its uh a firmware update on the new mobile g3 the G3 and the G3 Plus, so I might make a video on that, guys. But anyways, so you can see here that again, it's not it's not slowing down. It's still relatively snappy. Let's start up YouTube, and let's just see how this this looks for you guys. So here we go again. YouTube running relatively okay, and for the most part, you know, it's not slow. In my opinion, yes, you're going to get a little bit of hiccups and stutter when it comes to the actual photo, and that just depends on your on your internet and processing connections as well. You know, let's go to my uh, subscriptions. You'll see here that I'm subscribed to like a lot of tech channels. <laughs> let me let me see if I can focus in there. There you go. Uh, but again, uh, for the most part, look at that. I follow the straight pipes guy. Shout out to the straight pipes if you guys are watching this later on. If you're not, that's okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Sound quality is not that great as far as the speaker goes. I've actually watched Netflix on here and whatnot, and it's just really not loud. Let's see if I can find a video from me really quick, if I can go to my library, uh, just so that you guys can kind of hear a, an audio sample of how uh, this sounds specifically. And we'll actually go to the camera test video really quick. Hey, let's hope we don't get ad so here att attached with a cell phone a uh, little attachment here but uh, so, for the most part uh, looks clear uh, right now the sun's not too too bright uh, outside so let know, me hire the volume we got some you know shadow cast or whatever you want to call it okay so that's what the volume around, all the way up so actually you guys, guys can kind of see yeah you know, i have no clue if this has and any type of uh really only you know, one of these speakers when it work. comes to the cameras so you know we'll see if uh, there's any issues here but you know i just kind of wanted to get you know a close-up shot and let you guys hear the natural microphone and hopefully you know i'm gonna get a rear shot of this going on right now uh, we'll get you know shots of the you know my my backyard here in my parents house and just you know take a few clips just to see how this guy's looks but uh, i just wanted to kind of get a an impressions video of right. the actual camera here uh, for those of you who follow my youtube channel oh, i forget how android works over here okay so yes okay so the sound quality on it is not great honestly i feel like sometimes that you're only going to get sound from like the this little portion of the speaker down here, which is the bottom speaker, the earpiece up top, or the speaker grill on top, seems to me like it's just an actual earpiece, and it's just designed to actually look like the same on the bottom. That way, it looks like you kind of have uh, dual front facing speakers. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's really, really uh, not bad. It's not loud. It's not going to be overbearing. So you know, if, uh, for the most part, you know, if you guys are used to using headphones, uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's you're really not gonna you know complain much when it comes to stuff like that so so guys I mean I've had this phone for a week and you know I'm definitely uh, impressed by this specific device if you guys are looking for a smartphone uh, you know and you don't want to spend a lot of money on some of the latest and greatest tech that's out there you know you guys need to remember uh, that there is some old older tech that you know is out there it, you know stuff like this the Google Nexus 5x uh, that you can get relatively cheap so you know you don't have to buy the latest flagship like the iPhone 10 or the 10x max or or you know even uh, items like the one plus you know the new one plus phones that are coming out or even the Google, even the new Google pixel devices you know if you decide to get you know an older Nexus device or an older pixel device it's still gonna work you know you're still not gonna have too many issues I mean I'm just look at that I'm just genuinely shocked how fast that this phone still is you know uh, I'm not a fan of the uh, even though the fact that this has Android 8.0 that this uh, it does have an old school kind of like a, an app drawer most of the newer Android 8.0 and up or even 7.0 have like a kind of a swipe up uh, app drawer and it's clear it's see-through so one, one thing that I don't like about this phone is the fact that you know you have your notification uh, items uh, in kind of highlighted in white or the background is kind of like a see-through white I'm not a fan of that I, I I'm, I'm a fan of the old school Android where everything was kind of dark and it just looked it looked good. It didn't look like you know, you're, like it was trying to cop, copy or mimic uh, some other, uh, you know, I guess some other devices. But for the most part, everything works. 
you know what I mean? Uh, one thing that I was kind of shocked, I know this thing does have fingerprint gestures, which right there in the back, if you if you swipe down, you can actually bring down your, your notification. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can bring down your your notification bar without even having to touch the screen. So, so one thing that I didn't like about this phone is it can, even though considering it's an LG phone, you know, most LG phones have like little uh, gestures like double tap to turn on the screen, etc., like that, especially the older LG phones. And I don't know if that's the case now in 2019, if they still do that. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it's it's still a good phone, guys. It still works. Uh, you know, you're not gonna get the best build quality if you drop or break this phone or crack the screen. It's not gonna it's not gonna break the bank if you know you, if you end up you know hurting this device in any way. Uh, for the most part, even the even the screen, uh, even though the front's I think Corning Gorilla Glass three, uh, you know, you could still probably get a nice little uh, screen protector or case for less than like. 10 bucks on eBay or Amazon because this phone is just so old so so you know you're not gonna spend a lot of money but at the same time you know uh, you know it's really up it's preference to the user you know for me I, I personally would not use this uh, in 2019 as a daily driver just because of the battery life and because I need something that's gonna last me all day because of my long work days but if you guys have a job or something that have quick access to or you're able to constantly charge this phone, uh, then more power to you. You know, I mean, you're gonna end up probably charging it at least once out of the day, just so that you can kind of get that uh, charge going on. So, so guys, uh, you know, let's see. I guess the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna test out gaming on this phone. <laughs> Not something I normally do, but for those of you guys who, and I, I downloaded Super Mario Run, and I actually downloaded PUBG as well. And PUBG is just, a, 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 you know, it's a shooter game. Uh, that you know its graphics are not great on this obviously uh, but I'm only gonna test out Mario Run just for the heck of it guys so. Let's go. and you can see here that you know it still loads up pretty fast uh, additional data will be downloaded okay okay let me download this and I will get back to you guys error code okay. I don't know what's going on okay the game just crashed okay maybe Maybe this is not a good thing. Let me let me let me try to get this going, and then we'll get and then I'll do a test for you guys. All right, guys. So I finally got it going as far as uh, the actual game going. I'm not sure what was wrong. Let's try out Super Mario Run, and I might have to get rid of this. So I'm gonna just test it out here. I'm already on the third level. Whoa! I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I just did there. I brought down the drop down menu bar. But as you can see here, it's not. No. Okay, I already died. This is like an air stage. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna quit there, but you guys basically see how the game handles considering uh, this phone uh, was released before Super Mario Run actually came out. Let me go ahead and exit there for you guys. Okay, so so final thoughts on this phone is guys uh, that you know the, the Nexus 5X uh, was a good phone for its time. Obviously, uh, definitely a good, a nice little phone to have if you still have it or if you just still are considering getting it. And trying, if you can get this phone cheap, I would do it just because, uh, especially uh, this phone still performs in 2019. Again, like I said, personally, I would probably not use this as my daily driver though, especially if you have a job that requires you to have a phone all day, etc., like that, just because. But for the most part, if you guys are just going to use this uh, for, you know, modern day stuff like just YouTubing it, Twitter, Facebook, you know, even Snapchat, stuff like that, uh, definitely a good phone to have. I was really impressed by the cameras. I think the cameras still hold up in 2019. 
screen, especially the front facing camera. The front, the front facing camera, it was only a five megapixel camera. Um, and it, it, it definitely took pretty good wide shot angles. And it, it, I mean, everything looked good. You guys can refer back to my camera test video when you guys uh, decide to check that out. Uh, but again, for the most part, guys, this phone is not the best build quality, of course. Obviously, you're not gonna get like, you know, top notch build quality when it comes to the phone. So you're, there's going to be a little bit of trade-offs, performance over durability, and and make and and basically build basically. So I mean, for me, it's always gonna it's always gonna go back to how the phone performs and and whatnot. So guys, again, this is Mike from B Tech Review signing off, guys. Uh, keep an eye out on my next uh, video. I might uh, decide to get the 6P version of this phone, which was the Huawei. Uh, Nexus 6P and vice versa. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, or if you guys want to see some specific test on this phone, please let me know. Uh, I might actually do like uh, about uh, you know a comparison video between this and like other phones. So so again, guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews signing off. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.